This tutorial describes the steps to select and use a restrictor for any possible fluidic system with one of the Bartels microcomponents micropumps. Concentrating on the MP6 micropump, its characteristic performance curve shows a maximum flow rate of 7,000 microliters per minute at no back pressure and 600 millibar maximum pressure at no flow rate. A simple method to achieve low flow rates is lowering the amplitude, which on the other hand will decrease the overall performance of the pump because the typical pump curve of volume flow over pressure will then be shifted to a parallel curve. It is crucial to select the right restrictor, one that will fit the needs for your application. One way to restrict the flow rate is with an orifice. These come in preset dimensions, diameter and length and it may not be possible to find an orifice for your specific flow rate. This tutorial concentrates on using a capillary as a restrictor, as it allows adjustment to a desired flow rate by changing its length. When applying the restrictor, you preferably connect it to the pump exit. That way, the flow rate is reduced by the fluidic resistance. With maximum amplitude and optimal frequency, the flow rate is only as high as the restrictor allows. With maximum amplitude, the pressure generation of the pump is the same as without the restrictor. If you change the amplitude in such a system now, the pump curve will again be shifted in a parallel way. Using the correct restrictor, your desired maximum flow rate can be achieved, yet the full pressure generation range is available. Calculating a suitable restrictor can be done by treating the pump as an electrical circuit, calculating the internal fluidic resistance of the pump, adding the restrictor as a resistor, and applying the law of hagen poissuyer to determine this resistance. The maximum flow rate is then dependent on the total resistance of the system. The fluidic resistance of the restrictor is dependent on the power of 4 of its diameter, but only linearly to the length. The diameter is the most significant parameter to choose. With the internal resistance of the pump, the viscosity of the liquid, and the dimensions of the restrictor, it is possible to find the resulting maximum flow rate. Because the law of hagen poissuyer is usually used for constant laminar flow inside a tube, the actual restricted flow rate will differ a bit from this calculation, as the pump and its pulsating behavior are not perfectly constant or laminar. Due to the restrictor, the diameter of the fluidic line changes from wide to small and back to wide again, which could cause difficulties when priming the system because air bubbles may block the small opening of the restrictor. A large bubble could easily block the restrictor opening, causing the system to leak if the amplitude is too high, and you force them through under pressure. There are two solutions to prevent that issue. A funnel element allows the deformation of the air bubble as it passes through. Or, bubbles may be pushed into an additional air bubble pocket where they cannot block the restrictor. If merely pushed aside, they may interfere with the pumping as they act as a pressure buffer.